This is day two of putting away our beef. And today we're gonna to be grinding the meat that we saved for grind. Previously we already cleaned the liver and we put that away and we put away some other meat that we took out on butcher day. We're also cleaning and washing things off. We have a lot of the fat that we still need to render down. We're gonna weigh all this liver. See how much this light weighs. 10 pound liver. Ten yeah, he's 10 pounds of liver, oh my gosh. So we're trying to think ahead of like, we don't need these giant pieces of meat to be frozen, you know, cause we're not gonna cook it all at once. So we need to portion, portion things out. Two pound tongue. First time using this one, this is a Cabela's a commercial grade half horsepower. It's the carnivore grinder. We bought this last year, never used it. We're cutting the bags and then we're labeling them with the date, and then we're gonna do one pound bags. I know you could do however many pounds you want, like two pounds or five pounds, but I think one pound will work well for our size of family. One pound of ground will go in here, and then um, we'll just seal it once we stuff it. We're gonna do a double grind. We're gonna put it through this bigger hole one, and then put it through smaller holes. This is just one uh, bin here of grind. We're gonna do it at a time. I think we have four. I think we have four. Four, four grind, well, four of these is and what we have. they are heavy. Okay, so we'll just wash our hands and then yep. get the meat cleaver and then start, um, this section will be just the chopping section and then chopping it down into smaller manageable pieces. I also wanna just see how much fat we have. I wanna sort through this. We're mixing the heart in the liver in with the grind. That's just to get rid of some of this liver that we have because liver is like 10 pounds. <laughs> There's one, two, three, and then... four plus. All right, the trick is that this grind needs to stay cold as possible. Even this, this unit here, like all this metal here, we had this in the freezer and we just took it out. And so that way this can kind of stay cold. We have the heater off. We have a window open. Keep going so that meat stays cold and it doesn't warm up. And we're gonna do this a double grind, so we're gonna do it again. So we're not like measuring this fat to meat ratio, right? <laughs> Should be. I mean, how do you know? because we're just kind of eyeballing it. And I mean, I see a lot of fat in here, but yeah. I would definitely see more meat. And I think we want more meat than fat. Yeah. And it kind of, I, I think it looks good. Yeah, I think it looks good. We're just cleaning the meat a little bit more, taking off some of that silver skin. Uh, just kind of going through it, make sure there's no like bones or anything. And then throwing it in here. And then Penelope's sticking in the grinder, smashing it in there. Good job, Penelope. I think this is going pretty fast. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you think it's fun. Some of the pieces that are like real stretchy fat, I don't think we're gonna keep that. Like, see how it's stretchy like that? That's, that's something you would chew on for a really long time. I'm gonna put that in the discard pile. Um, but if it's hard fat, it, that can break down. That will render down into nice, Oil. While we are grinding all this meat, I want to talk to you guys a promo that we're doing with the Abundance Plus platform. It's a homestead streaming platform. This video that I did with processing our beef, I put the uncensored version on the Abundance Plus platform in the month of December. That video, the uncensored beef butchery video, uh, has is the number one video the number one most viewed video on that platform for the month of December. So with that, we're celebrating that and offering uh, everyone who purchases a yearly subscription to that platform, I'm throwing in my chicken butchering processing PDF guide. And this is a detailed PDF, colored photos of how to butcher a chicken for your freezer for your dinner table. So I'm throwing this in there and also I'm giving you guys 10% off if you use my code so the land at checkout. I'll leave the link down below. Thank you guys and let's get back to it. That's what that's for. Oh nice. Okay, put that there. So the grooves gotta go on the bottom. This one has smaller holes so it's gonna grind 
this even smaller. One tub is done. It's all second grained. What are we weighing those at? This is all one pound, so we could probably just count the packages. I mean, it's a little tiny bit over one pound. So it's not exact, but it's a little. You know, when you do all these, the bigger animal, you need commercial, more commercial equipment, industrial. Because if you want it to last, I mean, you, hopefully well, I only have to buy this once and it should last us forever. Yeah, but uh, roughly 25 pounds. Just on one tub. Yeah, 25 pounds. Second batch, second bin. More livers. We have some hearts in here also. We're creating more fat in here because from the looks from that first one to this one, comparing the two, this one has less fat, so we're just kind of adding more to it. Yeah. I like using a glove. You should have seen us last night because all of us had bandages on our hands no from like kidding. cutting ourselves. <laughs> yeah, like all these little tiny nicks from the from the knives. But well, thank God it was little tiny nicks. Yeah. Yeah. And then if it gets stuck, which means it might not come out as fast, you just hit the reverse button. It backs it up a little bit. You let go and then you start it again. And that takes care of it. Then it starts going super fast again. Let's see what I can do. This is the tail. That's too hard. We're, we're trying to save this. Maybe make some soups out of it. I remember uh -huh. oxtails would be like that big. Okay. You could do... Yeah, those sizes are great. Because you can feel in between. Like there's a bump right there. And there's another one right here. So I just cut in between. Like right there. This is very much assembly line work where you kind of doing the same thing over and over again, just cutting and sorting. sorting. That's a lot of fat. Yes, yeah, so there is good fat in here and then there's bad fat. The bad fat would be like something that is, um, something your teeth really can't bite through and it's like rubbery. Um, the good fat, which is this, and I'm going to get rid of that hair. There's cow hair in here too. Um, okay, so this is, it's crumbly and it's like hard and it's gonna render down into tallow really nicely. So I'm separating the good fat from the bad fat. So this is all like, if it's stretchy and gooey, um, I'm putting it in the discard pile. We'll probably feed that to the pigs. And then um, I'm just kind of separating like these good pieces of meat and then putting that into the grind pile. So that's, what this bucket is for. We're making some beef patties, hamburger patties and then um, putting them in wax paper and then we're gonna freeze them that way. Oh, that four? Mm -hmm. okay. you have a big bag? These hamburgers are basically our fast food because they're just quick meals, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna do, we're just gonna finish it. We're almost done here, guys. We're almost done. But we have this is excess. Yeah, a some bunch of, of the chewy fat. Chewy fat. It's some um, of the stuff that they would make typically make dog food out of. There's hair, you know. Not my hair. Not. <laughs> and we're gonna yeah. make pig food out of it. It's currently 6 p.m. day two. We're still going, guys. We're still going. We have uh, bones. We're saving bones. Usually people throw the bones away, but we like to keep the bones and make broth and having this many bones, we need to keep it. Three of these trash bags full, full of bones. We already picked all the bones clean. 
You know, we put it in the grind. This is what we make with the bones. Lorraine has already made beef broth. Look at this. Already made, Lorraine. Already made. Okay. Pasture raised, homegrown broth. Look at that. So you just want it a size to put in the stock pot, right? Yes. In this piece, we're just gonna cut it and just cut this one, this one in half too. Yeah, just so it can fit in my stock pot. Most likely, I'll be over roasting all of these, but we have Penelope on packaging duty. We're just wrapping them up and then using paper also to wrap them. And then basically a present. For future broth. It's great about butchering yourself. You can always like kind of. It's really interesting just to see how everything's put together. You know, like that's how, it's, how, it's how the cow moves. These are all our beef bones. We're gonna weigh them. I'm just curious to see how how much all this bones weigh. We're at nine pounds. That's it. That's it. What is that? That's uh, that's 23, 24. So what's the total? 72 pounds. 72 pounds of, of bones. bones. Of bones. But then we need to weigh the finished, the, the finished packaged beef. We need to weigh that still. This is day three, guys, day three. Last night we finished. It took us all day to grind all that meat. And then now, this is all it right here. We're weighing everything out. Some of these are weighed, but we didn't weigh everything. Some of these are leaking, so we had to put some in bags. And I hope he's writing all the weights, and then we're gonna add everything up after we're all done. We don't like this method. There's two methods of preserving your food, and um, this is one way of doing it, which is wrapping it in the saran wrap first and then put this butcher paper over it. You're supposed to freeze it right away, but when you go to thaw it, it starts leaking and I don't wanna have all of that like blood all over the refrigerator or whatever it is that I'm um, thawing it out on. I actually like the method of um, vacuum sealing it. So some of the pieces that are super leaky, I'm just going to put into a vacuum seal bag and then we'll seal it. Here's the numbers. Now we gotta add it all up. Alright, how much? How much how much do you think all that weighed? 350. This is not including bones and not including pig food, like which is the scraps. Oh. 250. I, hey, you can't you do the same thing with me? I said 200. 210. I said it's 250. 250. 250. Yeah. Whoa, there it goes to. You're good. Tomahawk steak. <laughs> Plus the bones is another 80 pounds. So Penelope's the winner. Uh, hey. And then we didn't even weigh the pig feed. We had, I don't know, how many bags? I don't even remember. We probably had like 15. Plus some. <laughs> yeah. 15 Plus bags. Yeah, 15 bags of pig feed, of Ziploc bags. We had an empty freezer, the chest freezer. I say this is about medium size, but it's all filled up. 250 pounds, uh, was it worth it? <laughs> was it worth three days of processing this cow? I mean, not including the day we killed it. Um, you know, we killed it, we hung up for two weeks, and it took about three days to put it away when we could have just took it to the processor all in that same day and then picked it up the following week and everything would be pretty packaged and done. Is this gonna be a family tradition, Lorraine? I hope so. I, I, I thought this is a great skill to have and to, <laughs> to pass on to our daughter. Like, I, I think that this is, it, it was a lot of work, <laughs> but it was, it was fun. Now that we're done, we can say that it was fun. Well, I think for us, for me especially, like I just wanted to try it myself and just to see if we like it and just to see the process. I think that's important. I think everyone, if you have the opportunity of raising your own beef, is to do it at least once from start to finish. Just to see how it is, because I think it's important and it's interesting to see all the different cuts and things that you will never see 
if you take it to a processor. Uh, and you know, it's such an educational experience. And so that's one thing I, I liked about it. I think, yeah, I mean, it should be a, a, a tradition here that we're gonna do this every winter <laughs> of doing a beef. It's a lot of work, but I think over time, we're just gonna be more efficient and more better at it. I'm assuming this is like a smaller side beef, right? You know, like it was an 18 month old. Uh, if we would have waited another year, I guess we probably would have got twice as more beef. Um, but then again, since we're doing it ourselves, do we want necessarily want a giant beef? Like, because we have to process this. It, it would take us longer. Like it would probably taste us six days, Randy. <laughs> a buffalo is next. What's next? <laughs> I'm halfway down the hall. I feel like this size cow was perfect for our family. We're a smaller family, but plus being that we're beginners and you know, this was our very first time putting away this much meat. Since we're a small family of three, how long do you think this beef will last us? Leave a comment down below. Some of you guys who have experience with a whole beef, how long does it last your family? And how many people you have in your family? So that, that depends a lot too. So for that, I mean, I don't know. It, it might last us six months. You know, we're not eating beef every single day. You know, we have chicken. We're, we're about to, we're gonna be processing some pigs here soon. I'll leave a playlist of these videos from, this is gonna be three different videos of the process of butchering and piecing out our Jersey Angus steer. That was 18 months. So I'll leave that down below. Also, if you guys want uncensored videos, I'm posting those videos on Abundance Plus platform so you can check those out. And also guys, that beef, one that, that video that we killed our, our beef, um, that one, just to let you know, I got demonetized on YouTube for that. But the uncensored version, which I don't get demonetized on, and this is why I post it there, is on Abundance Plus. And this month in December, it is the most watched video on the entire platform. The number one video. So I'll leave a link to that if you guys want to check that out. Also, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully this these videos inspire you guys to get out there and process your own beef. Because there's nothing to it but to do it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.